oh, okay. Oh. You watch. What you ask is interesting to us. What is it that you really want to know? Um, I think what, what the humans do is uh, the most essential part of the ascension. Because the aliens are not that knowledgeable about the, the, the workings of the system. So it would be done through the human hands. So. So you would like to know more about what is being done and what are the plans? Well, that is rather incorrect, though. Humans are in charge of their own ascension. Even though we are off-world, the humans that are on-world are more in control than we are. We speak only to the governments and channel through a few people. So therefore, we do not have much influence on your ascension at this time or at least not yet. I am Teron. I, this is how they pronounce my name. It was actually Terence when I arrived here, mm -hmm. but they made it into Teron because they have trouble pronouncing it properly. Uh -huh. But let me explain what I mean. And actually, I cannot see you because there is no video feed for this particular place. However, your people are creating the ascension with their light and with their um, understanding and building of their own structures of positivity, their laws of attraction, their love, all the things that are positive that go into the ascension are not coming from outer places, but are coming from your planet in particular. That means that we as outer people do have an understanding of what is happening because we have been informed by different means of what is happening, but we have very little way to uh, get information to you other than this way, the governments, of course, will not share information that we give them. And we can only tell you that it is actually up to your people to do this. You create your own realities in many ways. And therefore, the realities that you are creating at this moment for the future are the most positive things or can be very negative but for many of you that I see in this particular group are very positive and are bringing light out from the body which is a very positive thing let me explain once you are too self-absorbed to understand that there is anything beyond humanity or your own person or your own subset of peoples, such as immediate family, then you are stuck in a very low light area and you are not really shining. You are actually, unless you are very spiritual, which is an exception, are not shining very brightly. The very understanding that there is greater things outside of your world expands your vision and your light understandings and can be a very, very positive influence on the planet. Does that make sense to you? Uh -huh. So therefore, when we come 
And when we do speak to your peoples, and my peoples, because we are the same, I, but I haven't been there for quite a while, so my peoples seem, saying my peoples doesn't seem quite right, but it is my peoples. We are trying to let you know from outside your particular realm that we are here to help in any way possible. And usually our help is informational. Mm -hmm. And so we give you the information that you are on the right track when you are expanding your positivity, moving into positive realms. We see that negativity is very, um, well, I don't even know the word. It's a great deal of it around. There's a great deal of negativity on the planet that needs to be dealt with. And it is difficult to deal with, uh, even with positive people, because they get involved in it. It gets involved with them. They interact with it. It becomes routine to deal with negativity, whereas there are those on your planet now that are moving away from that and not having to deal with it daily. This is where you would choose to be. You see, uh, you can see that negativity exists, but you don't have to deal with it on a daily basis or do not have to make allowances for it on a daily basis, and this is where you want to be. You want to be able to express, live, function, and move forward and bring in more positivity as you move forward instead of having to fight off negativity just to experience positivity. When you are in a place of expansion with positivity, then you can grow and bring in um, other people into your area of light, and then they will also start to shine and become self-sufficient within their own positivity. Uh, this is the, the way of example. However, many still do not understand spiritual connections to it. They try to intellectualize the spiritual connection or they try to make it into something uh, that they can more, uh, rel more uh, understandably manipulate, whereas positivity manipulates you in many senses and you do not manipulate it. You become part of it. It does not uh, you do not manipulate it to come to you unless you are doing the law of attraction, and that's a form of manipulation. However, to be part of positivity in a way that is most healthy is to just let it be around you and to um, resonate with it, let it become your um your identity let it become part of your essence let it become your energy let it become loving ah you say let it become loving is it positivity loving sometimes positivity has negative connotations as well so let your love be very positive and non-judgmental Judgment is the one thing that Earth does so much of. You judge everything on your planet. This is bad, that is bad, this is good, this is... You realize when you say good and bad, that when you're talking about objects, you're actually making a judgment of what it is. And as an, a human on another planet, we've learned that judgment can be very effective in bringing negativity to you mm -hmm. when you judge things mm -hmm. when you say that judgment or bring a judgment to things then you bring a shadow of that back to you 
you bring that it bounces back because you are uh, saying something negative about something that exists outside, perhaps outside of your reality, or perhaps outside of your immediate family or your immediate awareness, but it is bouncing back to you in a negative way when you judge it. So judgment becomes one of the huge ways that mankind holds on to their negativity. He judges everything around him. This is bad. This is good. This is, this is evil. This is positive. Yes, I like that, but I don't like this. It's all judge, judgmental. Don't you agree? Mm -hmm. And so to eliminate that, you must look at something and accept it for what it is. Not as good or not as bad, but you must look at it and try to find what it truly is in God's eyes, because God's eyes are the eyes that created it in many senses. Of course, negativity has put its twist on everything in many senses, but you do not want to look at the, the actual thing that has been twisted, but the original item as it is. What God created to begin with, such as sex, or love, or games, or dancing, or beauty, or understanding, or wisdom, or these things on earth that are fun to do, but many people judge them. Do you understand? And they judge the people that do them. But you must look at everything in a fundamental way so that you may understand that God created something good with almost everything that exists. And with people judging and making things negative and bringing negative connotations to even the good things God has made, then you're going to have so much problems with trying to expand your positivity. You will always run into something negative. And that is where the positive people have learned to look at everything with a positive twist. You must look at things and see what it originally meant, what its original purpose was. And if it has no good original purpose, ah, then you just are blind, perhaps, to what that original purpose was. Thank you. Uh, do you mind inviting Carl Sagan? Carl Sagan, I know who that is. We are aware of him from outside this spectrum. He is not alive, though. He is in spirit form. Yep. One moment, and I will see if I can locate him for you. Thank you. I am sorry you did not like what I had to say. No, you said what you said was great, except I'm running out of time and I had a plan to, to, to accomplish. Ah, I see. I am sorry I took so much of your time. No, that's good. Thank you. Much love to you. Much love. And we are still watching and we do care. Thank you. <laughs> 